Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and the new KillerSitesUniversity.com. Yeah, I'll talk about that later. It's been a long, long time since I did a video blog. I've been uh, busy, out of town, but uh, I'm back again. In this blog, I want to talk about technology and getting married to technologies. So basically the message is don't fall in love with a particular technology and be ready to jump ship and grab something that's better. Uh, so let me give you a quick example. For instance, uh, about five years ago, I started getting into Mac, uh, having been a Windows user for, you know, since the 90s, early 90s. And uh, then I picked up the MacBook Air, and uh, here it is, the Ultra Portable. And it's uh, simply the best computer I've ever used. And one of the reasons it is the best computer I've ever used is because it's so fast, it's so elegant, easy to work with. Its speed is largely derived from the SSD heart. SSD is the solid, uh, solid state drives as opposed to the old magnetic hard drives. Uh, what a lot of people don't understand is that the perceived speed of a computer, well, the actual speed of the computer is largely affected by the speed of the hard drive, not the processor, not the RAM. Everybody concentrates on processor and RAM, and they tend to ignore uh, hard drives. SSD drives are something like 10,000 times faster than your typical hard drive. So when you have an SSD-based system like the Mac Air, everything is super, super fast. So I recommend to anybody, um, especially if you're getting into uh, web design, web programming on, in a professional manner, even if you're learning it really, I recommend spending the extra couple hundred bucks to get the SSD based computer, whether it be a MacBook Air or one of the Ultrabooks that are now coming out and hitting the market. So getting back to the original point of this vlog, not getting married to a technology. So I switched over many years ago from Windows because Windows are really falling apart, especially with Vista. And I switched over Mac OS because Mac OS 10 was far superior. Now though, I think Windows with Windows 7 and I think with the new Ultrabooks coming out, I think they're starting to catch up to Mac and in fact, I think perhaps, and I'm not saying for sure, from what I've seen with Windows 8, you may see Windows really starting to get back into uh, the groove again. Again, I'm never going to, I don't think I'll get rid of my MacBook Air. I'm going to use it because, you know, the main thing is the whole, and you know, you don't have to worry so much about viruses with the Mac. Uh, that being said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting the new Samsung Series 9, which is their new ultra-thin, SSD-based, ultra-light uh, notebook. Um, I don't know if it's an ultra-book. Anyway, so, and the reason I'm getting it, well, first of all, I think Windows 7 is, is very good. I'm, I'm not saying it's perfect, but I, I think it's very, very good. And in fact, there's a practical reason. And the practical reason is that for the new courses that I'm going to be producing, I need to produce these things in the Windows environment because, uh, you know, with the Killer Sites Network, in our, we get a couple million page views. Um, I don't know what the exact count is. We get millions of page views per month. And I was looking at the data recently, and we're still 75% Windows-based. So I have to put out Windows-based videos uh, and training courses. I'm still going to do Mac stuff as well, but, you know, I have to do it. So in working... Uh, you know, if your primary work machine should be as quick as they should be as quick and as easy to use as possible, because you know, you know, you're going to make up for that extra expenditure, the extra couple hundred dollars more for the SSDs uh, base system, just in the time that you save. So there you go. So again, I a big fan of Mac OS, big fan of the Air. The Mac Air is the best computer I've ever used so far, but. When I see what's coming down the road, I see the advantages and here and there, I see, you know what, I think it's time to look at Windows again. 
and uh, look at Windows, uh, you know, based hardware. Like Samsung is putting out really good stuff. Asus is putting out really good stuff. So again, with regards to not being married to a technology, I've recently, well, recently, last m months ago, I decided that it was done for Flash. And I was one of the first Flash users in the world uh, back in the late late 90s. But at this time, I think with the rise of HTML5, CSS3, uh, jQuery packages, like you know, JavaScript packages like jQuery, that's the big one, Scriptaculous, uh, the advantages that Flash provided are now gone, largely. And um, the fact that Adobe has said, no more Flash players for mobile devices, that's crazy. That's to me, is the, the last nail in the coffin because you know most of the people in the next several years are gonna be surfing the web with these mobile devices. I'm not saying Flash is gonna disappear altogether, but it's gonna fall into a niche and eventually disappear. Um, so again, I'm not falling, falling in love with that technology. I see the writing on the walls. I see that it's time to switch over to something newer, something better. So I leave Flash uh, behind and let it go. So yeah, that's my advice to you as a, a technologist, as nerds, web programmers, web designers. You can't get married to a technology. You gotta be ready to move on when it makes sense to move on. It's not, um, not, there's no, it's not about loyalty. These are just tools. These are just tools that, to, you know, and it's, uh, you got to pick the best tools for the job. That's it. There'll be more coming very soon.